And welcome to The Power Is Now TV. My name is Eric Frazier. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate. And I have a special announcement for you today. We have another show, another home buyer town hall show launching on The Power Is Now TV network out of New Haven, Connecticut. And I'm so excited about it. Steve Rivkin is the broker owner of Planet realty and he is the host of the show welcome steve to the powers now tv eric thank you for having me very excited to be here and happy to be part of the power is now podcast team and uh, looking forward to doing some wonderful things together thank you uh, steven i'm glad you mentioned podcast team because you're absolutely right not only is this a tv platform but it's a podcast platform and so folks you're going to be able to learn about connecticut from steven both on podcasts, anywhere you find your podcast, and on television, Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, and also all mobile devices. So download Power Is Now TV to your mobile phone uh, so that you can get ready for the shows that are about to come. Stephen, again, thank you so much for um, joining the Power Is Now media team and being willing to share your expertise about real estate. Uh, I have never been to uh, New Haven, Connecticut. I hear it's a beautiful place. And so I'm looking forward to your episodes and, and learning about it. Now, before we get into the, the details of your show, why don't you take a moment and just uh, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Of course, provide your telephone number and license number uh, so that people can reach out to you. My name's Steve Rivkin. I'm the broker owner of Planet Realty. I'm here in the uh, the west side, Westville section of New Haven, Westville, USA. And we currently have 10 agents here and we support the residential market, the commercial market and have a specialty in foreclosure work. My license in Connecticut is REB 0788129. You can reach me by cell phone, anytime, text or phone 203. 982 4985. And my email again, anytime S Rivkin, first initial last name, S R I V K I N at Planet Realty CT.com. Stephen, thank you for providing that those contact details. You are a, an experienced real estate broker. You're the owner of Planet Realty. Tell us a little bit about your experience. How long you've been a realtor, the organizations you're a part of, and, uh, and actually how long you've been there in Connecticut? Well, Eric, thanks for asking. I'm a lifelong resident of the New Haven area, mostly. Uh, I grew up in West Haven, which at one point was New Haven. I went to UConn, University of Connecticut, go Huskies, uh, graduated there, came back to the area, lived in East Haven for 20 years, and moved into New Haven uh, to be a little close to my mom at the time um, and family, and uh, I'm married, I'm here with two daughters, we've been 20 years in New Haven, and the whole area is our stomping ground. Um, it's a beautiful day here as well, although we do have some gray days, maybe not like Washington State, but um, we have a mix of weather, of course, winter, summer, spring, fall, and we're coming into spring, which is a beautiful, but a lot of rain right now. Um, arguably, New Haven has, and I know I'll get some flack for this, but arguably the best pizza on the planet. <laughs> you have to come. You said you haven't been here. You need to come visit, and then you'll tell me. Okay, we'll ask you then. Um, for real estate, I'm a, a licensed realtor for over 22 years. I've had a brokerage for going on 14 and um, get specialties in the brokerage, residential. We do commercial work. Um, we do a lot of investment work for multifamilies and um, we do signature housing, shoreline. Connecticut has a beautiful shoreline, um, well known for sailing and for boating and for, uh, for all kinds of beach activity. Beautiful in the winter as well. Um, we have a specialty in the office in foreclosure work. Uh, they call REO, which is real estate owned properties. Um, and these days that actually is extended not just 
to management and disposition of bank owned properties, which we help people invest in, but also we now are involved in selling some of the paper, some of the notes that, that are prior to or pre foreclosure. We've been working on that the last year or two. Steve, wow, what an impressive background. And you're definitely going to get some flack about your pizza. Uh, <laughs> I we, know. We have some uh, uh, agents who host a show out of New York. And so huh. you know they're going to be coming after you. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. 14 years owning your own brokerage, 20 years in the business, and you're on the REO side. And we are seeing some activity more REOs are coming on the market. And so what a great opportunity for our audience to hear about REOs that are coming on the market from an REO broker, as well as the ability to buy notes. And that's a topic that many people aren't aware of, that they don't have to necessarily buy the property, but they can buy the note and become the lender on the property. So I already know, Stephen, that you're going to be bringing a lot to your show and I can't wait to get into the details about it. Folks, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to hear more about Stephen and his brand new show right here on The Power Is Now. We'll be right back. Want to keep up with the current developments happening in the world of real estate? The Real Estate Roundtable, hosted by Eric L. Frazier, is a show you do not want to miss. The show features a panel of VIP agents who are passionate about helping people. It is what they do best. They discuss today's hot topics, latest market updates and trends. The panel also conducts interviews with prominent figures in the industry. New episode every Friday live on Facebook and replay on the Power Is Now YouTube channel. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to The Power Is Now TV, folks. I am so excited about Connecticut, New Haven. Never been there. I hear they have great pizza, though. And I'm looking forward to hearing about real estate in Connecticut. I might invest down there, maybe buy a note. And now you and I, we have a connection, an experienced real estate professional, broker, owner, doing big things in Connecticut to, to keep us aware, of, or at least abreast of what the opportunities are to buy there as either investment property or to maybe live there if you're looking to relocate. His name is Stephen Rivkin, and he's the broker of Planet Realty and New Haven, Connecticut. And he is hosting his own show, the Home Bar Town Hall, right here on our network. And I'm really excited about it. Now, you're going to be able to watch Stephen on television. So you have an Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV. And if you don't have any of those things, you have a mobile phone. So download our TV app, Power Is Now TV, and you'll be able to watch his show on our TV app. And I just cannot wait to learn more about um, New Haven, Connecticut. So again, uh, Stephen, thank you so much for um, choosing us to share your knowledge and experience on our platform. There's plenty of stories to tell from here, and I hope that this helps our audience and helps any buyers and others wanting to do business in Connecticut, we're happy to help them. Well, I, I'm confident that it will. In fact, let's get into the details of your show. Now, uh, folks, uh, Steve's show is about in between 30 to 40 minutes, sometimes 10 to 20 minutes. It just depends on the topics. And he has a number of different things that he'll be talking about on the home buyer Town Hall. And in fact, uh, Steve, take a moment here and share with our audience as to why you want to do this. Why do you want to, what do you hope to accomplish with your own show on our network? I hope to bring a no frills, no nonsense approach to some of the information that is sometimes cloaked through other advertising and um, I dare say misinformation throughout mm -hmm. the industry. Um, we will give what we believe is the straight information, the knowledge that you need to, to make proper decisions for your family and your business. And we've been here for a long time. I'm here many, many years, my entire life. And I think we know some of the backdoor entries and the, uh, the circuitous manner that the business will run here, um, as well as uh, the neighborhoods and the availability of different properties as they come to market and um, and potentially the trends for people moving around the state. Stephen, I'm so glad uh, that you have this intent of 
breaking it down to us, what's really going on. You know, the no frills, no nonsense. This is how you buy. This is what's available. This is where you buy. Here are the opportunities, real information, because our goal as a TV network uh, is to, number one, focus on real estate and housing uh, and to provide real information that people can take action on. We, we want to be the HGTV of real estate information that people can take action on, as opposed to real estate entertainment, which is all you find on TV right now is just real estate entertainment. You know, guys and girls mm -hmm. driving fancy cars and fancy clothes, selling big houses, mm -hmm. and you learn nothing from that outside of the drama that can occur <laughs> when you're uh, operating at that level. So I'm looking forward to your, your uh, segments, and let's talk about the segments. So one of the segments in your show is going to be about the real estate market and the economy in New Haven. Can you give us some insight of what you're going to talk about? Eric, in the real estate and economic market segment of my show, uh, I'm going to speak about some of the industry movement, some of the job opportunities, and some of the migration patterns that are happening in Connecticut right now. Um, we had pr prior in a, in a recent 10 year period, uh, we had lost some larger businesses from Connecticut. Um, they've made some adjustments to taxes. Um, there is a nationwide movement a migration to some of the warmer areas. We're still in the north of the country. We still have winter. And um, things did change greatly in the pandemic when many, many uh, workers, employees um, realized they didn't have to commute. They didn't have to go to, they were allowed to work from anywhere in the country. So some of that has moved people out. Some of that has kept people here. And um, the pandemic also brought a uh, intergenerational migration, if you will, where families are two and three generations in a home. Um, that was sort of common when I was a boy. Um, and then we moved away from that with everyone having their own home. And now we see families moving back together. There's a lot of competition for homes right now in Connecticut. And I think much of the country is feeling this. Um, and when I say competition, it's for affordable housing. We do have housing. It's very expensive. Um, some of the holdback from those folks selling their homes is starting to loosen as the pandemic is hopefully winding its way out. Stephen, man, you definitely have your finger on the pulse of what's going on economically. And I'm not surprised to hear that real estate is expensive there and affordable housing is even more challenging. So we're looking forward to that uh, segment of your show. Now, the next segment is about the community. And I love community updates because it gives me a, a kind of a picture of what's going on by a real estate professional that's been there. And that's one of the great benefits, folks, of listening to our shows on our podcast or watching them. Any home buyer town hall happening on the Powers Now TV network is going to give you real intel on the, the community. And it's great if you're looking to move someplace. Now, Stephen, I don't have any intention of moving from beautiful California, where we have just one season, uh, 12 months out of the year. Uh, but what are you going to share with us about Connecticut? Well, I can I can tell you um, we so far don't have fires like we have out there. But we, <laughs> oh, we do, we, do, we do have home, home, man. Love we do have almost we do have almost everything else. Um, <laughs> so that's good and bad. Um, I, but I'm looking forward to showcasing some of the things that are on the the, the way positive side in Connecticut. Um, we have many state parks, and I hope to visit some of those. We have a lovely, wonderful shoreline um, that. Um, that meets up to Long Island Sound, where there's boating opportunities and recreation and uh, some, some incredible natural resource. Um, people love the shoreline for its tranquility, for its, um, for its excitement, and for, uh, which may sound like a contradiction, but you can get both from it, um, and um, the natural resource it offers. The restaurants here, New Haven in particular, has become a gastronomical center. We are now a food tourism location. Um, this has been coming for a long time. Um, I will tour many of the restaurants here. I will go to the pizza places locally, and I don't know if we can get the smell through the camera, but we'll do our best to, uh, to get some smiling faces as they're eating. Um, we have Yale University here, obviously uh, one of the Ivy League schools. Uh, well-known center for education and international thought. 
um, and, a, and a center for commerce. Um, it does, Yale does drive much of the economy in New Haven, de facto, they've been here a long, long time. And there's some great architecture and some great stories and history in New Haven that you won't find in other places. I mean, uh, Boston, you will have it, Philadelphia, New York, Washington, DC, and, and New Haven is one of those places um, with stories um, of history that I think will be very compelling. Wow, Steve, I can't wait, man. I literally cannot wait, folks. For those of you who are watching and listening, I mean, uh, I hope you tune in because, uh, Steve, you give me this sense, you're kind of like a professor, a, an educator. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to your show. Now, the next segment is going to be about financing real estate and uh, being an REO broker and then also selling notes. I mean, I'm, I'm curious to learn about the financing opportunities uh, that are provided by the city and, and local government. And then of course, you and I are gonna have an opportunity to chop it up about um, you know, FHA, VA, USDA, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac type of loan program. So um, what do you wanna really kind of hone in on? Do you work with first time home buyers? Are you gonna talk about investing and, and financing to that? What are you gonna talk about? Well, it's, it's funny you say professor. I, I do love to explain, and my, my children would say maybe I explain too much, but I, I do like to give information, and especially to new buyers, new to the process. Um, they're going to know what they want and like, but there are some secrets, some, some inner track that we want to expose to them because um, you know we feel the whole market everywhere is becoming more consumer-centric. Real estate's no different, although it's been a very slow evolution in real estate. Um, I do look forward, forward to speaking with you on the finance side and chopping, chopping it up, as you say, especially you 40 years plus on the mortgage side. Um, we're going to talk about first time buyer programs. We're going to talk about ongoing and investment programs. Um, there are down payment assistance programs. There's a Yale home buyer program. Um, so I'm going to allow you, we're going to talk and, and, and mix that up mm -hmm. and let you actually present some of the local programs for us. Um, as a, as, a, as a highlight. Well, I appreciate the opportunity and the partnership uh, that we are creating to create content that is, like you said earlier, no frills, you know, straight talk, what it, what it takes to buy, what it takes to get finance, what are the programs, and the power is now to make it happen. So uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, segment, financing, real estate in New Hedicott, New, New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> I just made New Haven and Connecticut. I created a new word, New Hedicott. <laughs> <laughs> the next segment is about real estate for sale. And um, uh, that I think is gonna be a really important segment for people who are looking for affordable and homes and, and really opportunities to get in because you're an REO broker. So. Tell us what you're going to share under the real estate for sale. We've had a, uh, thank you, Eric. We've had sort of a, a, a real slow time over the last two years since the pandemic, finding inventory to sell. And we have, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten prospective buyers lined up for every new property listing that seems to come out. So it, it, it's, um, you know, it's been rather frustrating. One of the gambits we've used with our buyers is to use um, um, specific terms in their contract offers because it's it, while price is important, mostly uh, terms, the, uh, the type of financing, the amount of deposit, the timing of, of, uh, of contingencies, the inspection or waiving of inspection rights. Um, these are some, uh, some ideas to maneuver through the chaos and get your offer up to the top level. Um, the inventory is beginning to come back slowly but surely, um, and as the courts open up, our moratoriums are complete now uh, for any holdback on foreclosure work, but the pipelines are not large, and those that had uh, problems with mortgages for whatever reason, and unfortunately, these are for many reasons, they're, you know, sometimes health, sometimes divorce or job loss, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a real tough situation, really, for many folk, but as those and those those owners are moving to some other properties and some other rentals that are now starting to come to the market. The opening of the market, Eric, will also come from 
the foreclosure side, as I was starting to speak about, the um, the in, the inventory will come as the courts begin to open, and they are now, but it's going to be a sort of a slow trickle. Um, many of those properties are in sort of decent shape, uh, some better than others. Um, we're very proud to be licensed with the federal government and the housing of urban or housing and urban development uh, as listing brokers for HUD. Uh, so we are seeing inventory through HUD, and these are being specifically marketed towards owner occupied buyers. Uh, they've just recently moved from a 14 day specific period to a 30 day specific holdback period. So there's more opportunity for home buyers to uh, embrace and get into these houses. There's, you know, all kinds of incentives uh, for financing that will come with these. Um, and I know you're going to speak about some of this. Um, they have a $100 down program. Uh, there's the FHA programs 203B, 203K. And we're going to we're going to see some easing of the of the strain on the inventory uh, based on some of the foreclosures coming out and in particular your HUD properties. And Stephen, wow, this is really going to be a powerful segment uh, because inventory is on the minds of everyone from people who've been approved and looking to buy and there's just nothing out there. Are they getting priced out because for every one home you've got 10 offers? I mean, it's really crazy. So I hope you're right with the uh, moratoriums being lifted and uh, and we're seeing a lot of homes coming back on the market. We're seeing that out here in California. Hopefully uh, buyers in Connecticut will, will have an opportunity to get into it. And uh, the fact that you're a HUD listing broker as well as an REO broker, wow. Uh, folks, again, another reason to tune in and to share uh, Stephen's show with everybody, because he's going to be bringing it uh, twice a month, twice a month, every second and fourth Tuesday, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That'll be 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. His first show happening very soon. So check our listings on thepowersnow.com. So, Stephen, we talk about the real estate and economic uh, update that you're going to do, the community update you're going to do, finance update that you're going to do with you and I, and then listings, homes for sale uh, that you're going to talk about your listings, REO listings, HUD listings. Man, this is going to be a jam-packed show, but wait, folks, there's more. <laughs> there is the Real Estate Roundtable. Now, uh, Stephen, this is a show that we want all of our guests uh, to our, our host to put on. And the Real Estate Roundtable consists of all your partners out there that help you uh, get the transaction closed. From the insurance agents you're working with, the title companies, the escrow companies, the home inspectors. So tell me about your group. You've got a core group of people that you work with all the time, right? Can you guys come together and do like a real estate roundtable so that your listeners can have the resources at their disposal? Yeah, thank you, Eric. We do expect to be a, a major resource point in all parts of real estate, and, and it really is all encompassing. Um, we have attorneys here. We're an attorney state, and um, I've already spoken to some of our key clients, our key, excuse me, our key vendors who are more than happy to share insight they've had over 30, 40 years working locally. Um, insurance, as we said, attorneys, home inspectors. Uh, we're gonna look at some of the local politicians, um, both inside local government, talking about some of the, uh, the down payment assistance programs. Um, we've reached to the mayor's office. We're waiting for confirmation on their, their attendance. But we have, we have access, I've been here a long time, I have access to many folk here who I think will not just be interesting, but will bring real value to some of those who are watching here. Wow, that's fantastic. Again, folks, another reason to tune in. And then the final segment uh, is on new construction. You know, the solution, Steve, to the inventory problems is for us to build more homes. And it's happening in some places, but not enough. So we're looking forward to a segment on new construction in your market. Can you speak to that for a moment? Yeah, I certainly can. Well, it's probably gonna be the shorter of these segments, Eric, because we don't have a ton of new construction here. Uh, number one, we're a small state. We're not Texas for certain. We're a little bit challenged for land. Um, 
And we've been frankly challenged with supply chain issues as much of the country. So materials are expensive. We've had some, honestly, some labor challenges. And while that is beginning to come around, um, right now the cost of building is very expensive. Um, if we had inventory in process, uh, it will sell quickly and there is a profit for the builders. And again, if there's no profit for the builders, they're not doing this, they're doing something else, you know, building something else. And the uh, single family homes in particular are a place, we are seeing a bit of a trend towards, uh, oddly enough, some, um, some, some build to rent, which is also sort of changing the scope of what's going on because historically these, uh, the local builders have been, uh, you know, building one off, two off to sell. Uh, so they'll, you know, they sell, they complete the construction, a family moves in, stabilizes the neighborhood, and it's, um, you know, it's an ongoing process. But some of that changed in the last couple of years. I, I think as both the supply chains and the profitability opens up again, we'll see more people back in that uh, full time and looking for uh, new lots. But uh, right now, a lot of the land is sort of sort of bound up too. Well, it will be an episode. It'll be a segment on your show, uh, as short as it might be. And, you know, I'm hoping to see uh, more new construction happen across the country uh, so that we can, uh, you know, create opportunity for new family formations that are happening. You know, out here in California, we're growing at about 1% a year. I mean, we're at 40 million right now. They're predicting we'll be at 50 million very, very soon. And there's, there's not, just not enough land, right, to uh, build in the first place. And then on top of that, the population growth, um, maybe the same phenomena is taking place in Connecticut in terms of your growth. Uh, since you've lost so many people, we'll see, you know, what the future holds. And you'll be there to document it all for us on your show. Well, folks, this is the Homebuyer Town Hall Show with your host, Stephen Rifkin, broker owner of Planet Realty in New Haven, Connecticut. We just completed a summary of his show and all the various segments that he is going to cover. Uh, and his show is going to drop every second and fourth Tuesday. Uh, it'll be 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We certainly want you to tune in. Now, if you're watching this video, if you're watching us on Apple TV, Ru Roku, Fire TV, or your mobile device, or even on any social media channel, we're, we're broadcasting on all social media platforms, please share this show. Let others know that this show is coming soon, and uh, it'll be here on The Power Is Now TV. Thank you again, Stephen, for your commitment to educate the public, uh, to be the resource you are to your community and to the world. We need more seasoned professionals like you who are willing to share their knowledge to help first time home buyers, move up buyers, investors, people who want to get into the game uh, to start building wealth in real estate. Do you have any final comments before we wrap up your show? Uh, just I'm super excited to get started here and be an ongoing part of the Power Is Now uh, media network and looking forward to blowing the lid off of real estate so people can start to get some inside information. Let's blow the head off of real estate in New Haven, Connecticut and everywhere you folks might be able to watch a home bar town hall. We are looking for more seasoned real estate agents, just like Stephen, to, to host their own show on our network. If you are a seasoned real estate professional, obviously a minimum of 10 years in the business, and you are in an area uh, where there's a lot of activity and you know that you can add value, please reach out to me. We are going to be in all 50 states by the end of the year. And uh, we're going to be the answer to the question that consumers have, and that is, where do I buy? How do I buy? How do I get the financing? Where's the base, best place to live? How do I get started? Who do I work with? What is an REO? We're going to answer all those questions 
in the home bar town hall and we need experts like Stephen to do it. Well, again, th thank you, Stephen, for your time and commitment to this uh, platform. And I'm really looking forward to your show. Folks, please remember to download our TV app, Power Is Now TV on your mobile device. Please watch us on Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV. Uh, find us on any social media platform. Like us, follow us, follow Stephen and his show. And I promise you will not be disappointed. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. Thank you for watching.